Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back. Okay, episode number five. So now we're gonna go see the seer. Um, that's gonna be our first one that we're gonna go do. Remember that girl we saved um, near the beginning of the game? Well, uh, she's the seer. She's the fortune teller. So we're gonna go and see her. Apparently she's been uh, dying to get talk to me. So yeah, we're gonna go and check this out. Excellent. So, what do you have to say? You've come! You are here, right? Yes, you most definitely are. I'm sorry. I had to pester Sergeant Knox, but he talks to so many people every day. There were many futures in which he forgot to pass on my message. Awesome. Alright. I foresee great things. I am a follower of Savas, the All-Seeing. I have been granted the gift of the third eye, which allows me to The Fourth Ghost Chronicle is a list of the heroic deeds and campaigns your hero may complete in Neverwinter. Alright, so these are some of the stuff we can go and claim. Um, I remember doing this quest with her. Uh, it's uh, not bad, not bad. Um, it's not that hard, really. Uh, so here we can go here, and we can see yeah, we get a scroll of life and a symbol of service. Complete. And then we'll go to the next one. Deeds grant rewards on completion. And then we got another they symbol. Also grant symbols of Sabbath. And a These random can be insignia. redeemed with Sibella for additional rewards. Excellent. All right, so we claim that. So now we have some of those things. I foresee great things for you. Thank Excellent. You. As new events transpire, please let me know. The more often I can match my visions to actual events, the more clearly I can discern the true course of the future. In return for your assistance, I will aid you with what resources I can. Excellent. That sounds good. Followers right. of Savers are not common. Alright, so that's another quest. So she sells stuff like this. So I'm up to five of them in my other game. So I'm assuming the Grey Horse, the Minstrel, and the Globe of the Third Eye. These are things that you're going to want to um, go grab. Uh, retraining token pack, I guess it's to retrain your guy. And the stone of health uh, insti instantly and heals you to full health. Alright, so that's pretty cool. But I don't know, I'd rather get these three first, you know, because they're part of a collection thing, right? So, yeah, anyways, uh, that's that. Um, so we're now going to go to the next one. Alright, so let's go see what our next quest is. Go to journals. Uh, try to stay within our level. Um, Alright, so let's do this one right here. Draw a path. Where is it? Seven Suns. Grant a certain report from the Seven Suns. There's a bowl. Alright, so that's where we're going to go. Near the Seven Suns market. I think there's a... Uh, a sewer there so we're gonna go there back into the sewers <laughs> I think you, you go into there quite often in this little area but it's pretty much well the only dungeon or I guess in a sense dungeon area that the this level has so it's all good though no complaints I'm really really enjoying this game like I said my uh, my ranger is still level 31. I haven't played it since the last couple of episodes there, but just mainly trying to uh, to focus on this. So we'll follow our glittering line to our area, and then we'll go and kill uh, Cobalt, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you get uh, also things for killing certain amount of enemies. I think it's uh, there's achievements, but uh, there's also in-game. I think rewards or whatever if you complete all that kind of stuff so yeah uh, by killing by staying in an area to grind for a while uh, later on especially later on you you'll find out that you're gonna you're gonna get these things where you've killed like so many I think you've probably even popped up on my screen a few times where I've killed so many of a certain type of enemy or whatever well I think after like 500 you start getting like achievements for it so that's not so bad um, I did get quite a bit of achievements for this game so far. I haven't really like gone and looked at how many I've gotten though, but so here's your sewer entrance. So back into the sewers we go. And we will go kill some bad guys. Alright, so let's find out where we gotta go here. Oh. Is that like a room here? 
Awesome. So there's our respawn point if we uh, we die, which hopefully we don't. So let's go around here. This is a trap, so we can undo the trap. Bam! Trap disarmed. Awesome. I'll be okay. Finder's feet. Hello, friend. All right. <laughs> Afraid you haven't caught me at my best. Stabbed you see. Oh. Cobalt's a nasty little buggers. Yes, apparently. I represent one of Neverwinter's leading citizens. He discovered his place of business was burglarized during the night. All right. The thieves made off with a little money and a lot of important business records. Let's go kill some guys. Since I'm not fond of your boys, nor being stabbed. Awesome. I'm offering right. you a portion of his fee. So we gotta collect some scrolls, scrolls for him. Take them to my associate. He's waiting right. for me just outside the sewer entrance. That we will do. That will we do. We shall do that for you. That kind of missed. That sucked. There we go. Alright, so there's nothing else in here. No glittering stuff. That's just water falling. Alright. What's this? Anything here? That oh, was kind of weird. I didn't notice that before. Anything there? Nope. You never know. You never know where they could hide stuff in this game. They're pretty good at hiding things. <laughs> From what I hear, they, they hide a lot of information from the people that uh, that are actually digging for information on stats and all that kind of crap. It's it's a very weird community thing. Like I said, I've watched a lot of videos where people were extremely pissed off at uh, you know the stuff that was going on in the game. So, so I'm just going to disarm all these there just because I want to see if uh, I do get experience for it. Uh, eventually, like if I, you know... Or maybe I get an experience, or uh, not, uh, what the hell, I get like uh, an achievement for disarming so many traps or whatever. Who knows? Who the hell knows? But we shall disarm all these traps. It's kind of strange you'd have four traps out here in the open, in the back here like this, eh? Kind of weird. But that's fine, that's fine. Whether I do get the experience for it or not, I have no idea, but we will find out. Kick more ass. Alright, so... We got back here, got some traps. Oh, crap. You guys just jumped right down there to get some action, didn't you? Ah, bastards. Alright, so another trap. Disarm that. Disarm this one. Like I said, just trying to uh, go through all this to make sure that uh, I get everything required. Oh, there's something down here. Dungeoneering kit. Excellent. Oh, it broke. Oh, that was my last one. That sucked. Alright. No big deal. No big deal. Like I said, I guess I'll have to start buying some there soon. There's another scroll. So we got to go over here and open the door. Let's see if there's anything down this way first before... I don't see anything glittering over there. Oh, I do here. What's this? Press A to disarm. Oh yeah, that's friggin' weird. Huh. Okay, so there's just traps in the wall. I won't bother going on the other side and doing the other one. Not that desperate to disarm all kinds of traps. Alright, so... Oh, bastards. I guess I should look the other way first, eh? There we go. Two and one. Alright, take that. All right. You have suffered oh, a minor really? injury. Oh, that sucked. All right. So now, since I hit a trap, Keeping I can show you. Injuries in the same location. What happens? Crazy injury from right. minor to severe. So we're gonna go back Use here. Use an injury kit or stand by a campfire for three minutes to remove one minor injury. All right. So now I put it down here. So now I just gotta use it, and now I'm good. I'm good to go. I can't believe I did that. That sucks. All right. I don't have any nature kits. Wow, I'm really low on kits, I guess, eh? So, screw you. What the hell is this? Disarmor trap? We shall do that. Alright, another scroll. What else is left here? So those are traps, I'm assuming. Yes, more traps, more traps. Disarm everything. We'll see how all that goes. Alright, what the hell is this? Disarm another trap. Excellent. Open the gate. So how many scrolls were missing? Five. Five freaking scrolls, eh? I'm gonna take that. The guy was called Dragon Shield. Interesting. 
Okay. Your turn to die now, too. Alright. So those are all traps lying all over the place. Oh. Yeah, I remember that part. He's like, ha. Hey. <laughs> there we go. And it brings out some spiders. Ooh, spiders. Alright, so let's let them come over here. Because, uh. Oh, really? Just to get rid of them. Awesome. Because I know they can injure your leg and stuff, so that kind of sucks if you get injured by them. Let me just have a look around here. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Alright, another scroll. That's kind of glowing green for some weird reason, eh? Alright, anything else over here? So I don't want to be missing anything, so it would really suck to have to come back because I missed something. Alright, so we're missing four scrolls now. Now there's another spider back here, so we gotta watch out. I remember that from the last time. Get that. Alright. Oh, we had a bunch of little baby spiders in here. That's disgusting. Alright, give me that. I said, give me that. Alright, go to this treasure chest. Oh, we got a new blade. That's pretty awesome. That's good. That's good. So, what's that open? That opens up a door. Alright, so let's go check out that new blade right quick. Um, more beneficial... Uh, I guess I'll put it in my main hand. Oop, my main hand. There we go. And... If I put that one in my... There. Even though like I'm losing a little bit of life steal, it's no big deal. I'm kind of gaining power too, so that's even better. All right, so uh, oh, now we can go down in another section. All right, that's pretty good. What else is down here? A bunch of guys. All right, let's just kick your ass. There you go. That was pretty easy. Easy peasy. All right, this dungeon crawl, this motherfucker. Wonder, I think it's at level 10 I get another skill. Alright, so there's... I have to go this way. Because I have to open that door over there, so... Uh, there's a bunch of guys in here. Kick their ass. Kick you out. Oh, that guy's throwing crap at me. Oh, here, I do twice as fast. We'll use a potion. We'll go after you. How do you like it, arsehole? Crying out loud, throwing stuff at me. That's just not cool. All right, so I opened that gate over there. Anything back here? I know there's more enemies I've seen over there. Um, there we go. Take all of you guys out. I'm out. There. Goodbye. All right, so we've got some more guys over here and some stuff on the ground. Awesome. Take that. And I'm going to throw stuff back at you. Uh, yes, recover the scroll. Alright, so that's all my scrolls. Nice. Alright, thievery skills. Perfect. Love that. Love it. Alright, all this crap I didn't pick up. What the hell? Uh, Alright, so I got all the scrolls. That's a good thing. Nothing back there. Seems to be I got everything, so that's that's good, that's good. Let's keep her rocking. Let's go kill some rats. Or sorry, kobolds. <laughs> no, they're kinda like rats. You know. I guess they're a sort of vermin. <laughs> uh hurler. Let's get rid of you bastards first. Why are these dwarf like guys like fighting with them? That's kinda weird. Oh no, these guys just have armor and shit. Alright, oops. Wow, you suck. There, take this. And that. You shoot fire at me. So not cool. Alright, so that was that done. Let's open this. Broken idol. Oh, I guess I had to bring that somewhere. 
Alright, so I dropped some crap over here. Let's go pick this up right quick. And that appears to be everything in here, right? Yeah. So let's go get our item out of the chest. Oh, some, some armor. Let's go check this out. And it is better than what we have, so let's equip it. Uh, let's go find out what that is, since I can use it, right? Alright, uh, for the next level at level 10. Alright, that's not bad. I can use that next time I go up a level. And everything else is pretty much well locked off for now, so that's okay. Because we're about to go up to level 10 anyways, which is really good. Yes, 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 level 10, here we come. And then from 10 to 20, I don't find the grind that bad. Um, there's like, like I said, there's tons of tons of uh, of quests for you to do. Like, uh, apparently they say from 67 or 68 or whatever to 70, they don't have any more quests. Um, so probably by that time in the game, uh, I'll probably be doing a lot of raids or dungeons or whatever they're called, and we'll try to gain experience uh, and stuff like that through those means. So what's next here? Um, Return Grace's jewelry. Take the broken idol to Rinks, and then we have to talk to Otley Associator near the bank. All right. So this is one. Shove off. You got the scrolls. Good. Okay. So money. that was the scrolls. Gonna pull through, by the way, if you care. Cold ball. Here's jewelry. the jewelry, and then now. We're going to go over here and talk to the other guy. He's near the bank. Oh, no, that's Sergeant Knox. Uh, I want this guy over here. Rinks. I believe it's this guy right here. Yeah, Rinks. So we're going to talk to him. False idols. And we're bring it to his wife, right? Do you have Astral Diamond? Thank you for bringing this. There we go. Now we got to level 10. So that brings us there. Um, she, you can like sell her Astral Diamonds like for like this kind of stuff. So if you ever need like a scrolls of identification and all this other kind of crap. And yeah, to your so we'll figure out all this crap later on. Um, look at this, 100,000, wow. That's crazy, eh? Alright, so we'll, like I said, we'll figure all this crap out later on. Uh, we'll go to character first, because, oh, at level 10, here's something that's pretty cool. You can add some extra stats to your, your guy, right? So coming here. Now, our base stats for a, a thief is like uh, dexterity. And then I want to bring my strength up so my, my hits and crap like that go harder, right? So that's the first thing I get to do. Then at level 20, you get two more, so I always put it back in there. Then when you hit level 30, they give you a bonus of one on every single one. And it's the same thing with 40, 50, and then you get another bonus on 60. So that's pretty cool, man. Like, I, I, I like that. So by the time you get to, like, you know, down here, I'll have... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll be up to 25 dexterity, which is going to be really good. And I'll have like maybe like 20 strength. So that's going to be excellent. Very excellent. All right. So that's that. So now we can hit the right bumper and go over to powers. Now here's uh, other stuff that we can get now. Now we got... Uh, what's this one? Dash behind your enemy and deliver a painful stab, slowing your enemy for a short duration. And then we got a lashing blade. Focus your strength into one massive furious attack, inflict a massive damage on your enemy. Alright, so we'll go with this one. It sounds kind of cool, actually. Um, we'll take that one. Uh, that one is already somewhere, so they put it here. Alright, so that's what that does. This is 20 second cooldown. Wow, alright. Ain't gonna be using that too often, I guess, eh? <laughs> Alright, so now we can go to Sergeant Knox. Oh, shit, sorry, I forgot my feats. Um, so in here, in the feats, you can start adding stuff to... I guess they're like extra little bonuses, right? <clears throat> so, uh, dealing extra damage. Yeah, we'll do these one here. Um, 
because the guy gives us five on it, right? So we'll do this one, and it gives us action points for combat advantage damage. So yeah, so we'll do that. Um, perfect. That's the first one I made to build up. Then, uh, because we also reached level 10 in our inventory here, we have... Oh, wrong one. Uh, where is it? It's up here. So open the box. It's going to give us a limited time offer and a mount. Oh, yes. I get my mount now. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so where is the mount guy? We'll go over here. Um, do I have that in here? Special quests. Uh, first mount. The hero of your metal. Accept. Mount. And then I'm going to leave the P versus P one there. Um, I'm not big fan of P versus P, especially on a low level character. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of it. So, alright, here we gotta go talk to this guy here. About mounts. A few available mounts. And we'll go with this one right here. Alright, perfect. So, that was that. Added a water deep horse to the mount. So, that left there, right? Perfect. Alright, so we're going to go back into our items, or into our inventory. Now you're going to see that you have a horse in here now, right? So you got to go and equip the horse. Now the horse has been equipped. Perfect. Alright, let's get out of there. So now if you press up on the D-pad, we now have a horse. Yay! So now we can run around the map at a lot faster rate, which is pretty awesome. Woo! Celebrate the horse! Yeah! Alright, so now... Let's go back up and talk to Sergeant Knox, and then uh, we will call that an episode. We'll get the we got ourselves a horse today, which is good. That's excellent. We can start running around the map a lot faster, so that's awesome. So I think in a couple of um, couple of levels, we'll be actually be able to start invoking. I think that's on level 12, if I'm not mistaken, and that's actually where we're going to start getting astral diamonds and stuff like that, which is friggin' awesome. So I still have an up arrow somewhere. Oh, that's because of the quest there. And then if you want to get that f one that's there, it looks like uh, three blocks and one that's up, that means you added something to your collection. So if you want to get rid of that up here, you just got to come and have a look in here and see that you've added it to your collection. And now that it's gone. That took me a little while to figure out what I'm So Eat. nest Good egg work. is complete. Uh, true professional. Domination. domination. All right, so we'll um, <laughs> we'll go through all that after in the next episode. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed the episode, everybody. Peace out, and we'll see you next time.